Welcome to our YouTube channel Wigyan and Raza Ayan. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of chemistry to explore a crucial concept known as hybridization. We'll break down what hybridization is, why it's necessary, and use beryllium difluoride, BF2, as our key example. Let's get started. So, what exactly is hybridization? Hybridization is a concept in chemistry where atomic orbitals mix to form new, equivalent hybrid orbitals. These hybrid orbitals are used to describe the bonding in molecules more accurately. The process helps explain the shapes and bond angles observed in different molecules, which cannot be described by simple orbital overlap alone. To understand hybridization better, let's look at beryllium difluoride, BF2. First, we need to examine the electronic configurations of beryllium, B, and fluorine. Beryllium has the electronic configuration 1s22s22p0. Fluorine has the electronic configuration 1s22s22p5. Let us not consider one's electrons in discussion as they do not take part in bonding. In its ground state, beryllium has no unpaired electrons for bonding. However, during the bonding process, one of the electrons in the 2's orbital is promoted to the 2p orbital, resulting in the configuration 2s12p1. This promotion creates two unpaired electrons, one in the 2's orbital and one in the 2p orbital, which can now form bonds with fluorine atoms. But we know that we have two hybridized orbitals for bonding. That means 1s and 1p orbital mix and sp hybridized orbitals, that are of equal energy, similar shape, and are distributed around the atom symmetrically. This sp hybridized orbitals that will overlap with orbitals of two fluorine atom and form bonds. Now, you might wonder, why do we need to hybridize the orbitals? Why can't we just overlap the atomic orbitals of two atoms directly? And why this direct approach looks inappropriate? The answer lies in the nature of the bonds formed. As bonding orbital would be if we do not hybridize the orbitals and directly overlap them, the resulting bonds would have different lengths and bond energies. This is because the 2s and 2p orbitals of beryllium are not equivalent in energy, and the overlap with fluorine's orbitals would be uneven. Let us picturize this direct overlap scenario. Imagine if the 2s and 2px orbitals of beryllium directly overlapped with the 2px orbital of fluorine. If we consider axial overlap conditions then we see ASP overlap and PP overlap. The bond formed from the overlap of the 2s orbital with fluorine's 2px that is SP overlap orbital would have a different length and energy compared to the bond formed from the 2px orbital of beryllium overlapping with fluorine's 2px orbital. This would result in a molecule with non-equivalent bonds, leading to instability and inconsistency in bond properties. Experimentally bond length and bond energy for these two fluorine atoms are same. So we can discard this theoretical approach. Let us consider second scenario and the need to have hybridized orbitals. When beryllium's 2s and 2px orbitals mix that means their wave function interfere constructively, they form two equivalent sp hybrid orbitals. These hybrid orbitals have the same energy, similar shape, and they are symmetrically distributed around central atom beryllium. With the sp hybridized orbitals in place, beryllium can now form two equivalent bonds with the two px orbitals of fluorine atoms. Each sp hybrid orbital overlaps with a two px orbital of a fluorine atom, this makes sp hybridized orbitals ideal for forming bonds with fluorine atoms. So we can understand that hybridization process ensures that the bonds formed are of equal length and energy, resulting in a more stable molecule. Let us also briefly discuss about the energy changes during this process. In the ground state, beryllium has its electrons in the 2s orbital. Upon excitation, one electron is promoted to the 2p orbital, raising the energy level. When hybridization occurs, the energy levels of the 2s and 2px orbitals mix to form the sp hybrid orbitals, which are at higher energy. Finally, when the BF bonds form, 
the system reaches a lower energy state compared to the excited or the ground state. This lowering of energy upon bond formation contributes to the stability of the molecule. And we can see how hybridization gives more stability in terms of energy than just considering the overlap of the orbitals in excited state. In conclusion, hybridization is a crucial concept in chemistry that helps explain the bonding and stability of molecules like beryllium difluoride. By hybridizing orbitals, we ensure that bonds are of equal length and energy, resulting in more stable and predictable molecular structures. Thanks for watching.